Hey guys, my name is Caddy Wolf and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. Or I guess also aka ROM. Which in this game are what is it like relationship organization managers or something like that? But it's basically referencing like these little like robot guys. And so this little robot guy, Turi, has come to find us to help him find his owner, Hayden, who happens to be like a long time ago friend of ours. Some weird mystery going on and we're currently at his house. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Click it, click it. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. That is weird. Who the hell's gonna break into someone's house and then fix their home? I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Do you have like recorded audio or something? Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it? It's possible. I guess a maintenance robots and everything? Crazy. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. So if someone breaks something, the landlord doesn't care. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. We should have brought some weapons. Before we go any further, I feel I need to clear the air between us. Clear what? Events have been proceeding faster than I am capable of processing them, and I may have been overly critical of you in our previous yeah, I'll conversations. Say. Very critical, Turi. I have put you in an unexpected situation, and it was tactless of me to question your motivations. Let's strive to have a more harmonious relationship from now on. Sure thing, buddy. Don't worry, buddy, you're upset about Lucky Hayden. Break. A lucky break. I love how his face like turns into an exclamation point. It seems my access code still works. Good. Why wouldn't it? Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Yeah. I really appreciate you saying that. <laughs> you made your point about the door, let's just head in. There's a nice ass room. It doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Why are you not surprised? Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Well, he would still fight back, wouldn't he? I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. <laughs> I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Are you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Silly. Well, someone is arrogant. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. So what, you just like alter that part? Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. <laughs> worth their silicon. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Well, you better not. <laughs> it would be fun to see you try. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Smart. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. Hmm. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Yeah, it's, it's not acceptable. Glad we're clear on that one. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. Well, yeah. Out of base, on um, base, you know, whatever. To come to Depends defense. on the situation. But I... mm. What's done is done, we need to focus on finding him. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. Broken tech. A ROM component in Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Can I like touch this? Busted. He must have dropped it in the skirmish. There's a memory card here. Memory card edit. Must have useful information. Ooh, game consoles. We gain the strength of the temptation we resist. 
So you'll probably become a rad video game wizard now. Uh, yeah, right. Tai Vai. Uh, there are no buttons on the screen. There's no need to watch TV right now. There's no buttons on the screen. That's weird. Window. Computer. Hold on, let's look at the window first. Aiden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. Well, good for him. This window here is where I escaped from. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. How did you survive then? Are you sturdy enough to survive that kind of fall? Critical system damage would be unlikely, but I would certainly have damaged my legs beyond repair. So. So. I took the fire escape. Smart. You're a smart robot. Of course you did. Photos. Those are the photos. Oh, is this Hayden? Pictures of Hayden traveling around the world working at a company like Parallax ensures you'll be more than well off. ROM parts. Can I take that? What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. True, true, but you never know. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Someone doesn't look pleased. Alright, nothing but left but this, which is probably we're gonna use the memory card for. Yeah, the password? Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Reasonable. Do you know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Hmm. Of course you can, that would be too easy. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Someone's real, like, you know, pissy. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that memory card in there. We have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. <laughs> Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Yeah, this is so funny. Like, I don't know how to react to any of this. Aiden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter intrusion software if I attempt to slice in. It'll slice you. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. That is unfortunate and also probably a good thing for the world. Mesh net. You don't like, what does talent have to do with it? The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. Intuition, really. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. Are you incapable of that kind of creative leap? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds... Yeah, as... as... I just don't think I'm very good with computers. But you are a computer. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. <laughs> He's so proud. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Abstract expressionism. Extract art. Abstract art doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Mm-hmm, good for you. Let's get back to searching. I still think I should use the SD card. And that's not SD card, it's a memory card. A high density memory card. Oh man, it doesn't fit. No compatible slots, huh? Well, that is... Utterly disappointing. Can you use a headphones on this? The hum of the standby screen has no melody. Oh, that is unfortunate. What else can I like? There's a plant here. This plant is doing much better than the one at home. Yep, yep. Wait, so can make it? Maybe I can stick the 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 card. Oh, wait. Where the card go? 
You sing to the TV and listen to boring news in high def. Where'd my card go? That's lame. Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. What do you see? What is that? Oh, the tablet. Ah, uh, that device. That device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. <laughs> basic. It is well within my skill set. But he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Mm, yeah, I guess. The memory card slot is empty. So that's what it's for. Match for the memory card you discovered. Okay, so what what do I do with it? What do I do with the goddamn memory card? Oh, it's still here. Okay. Put the thing in the do doohickey. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Weird. He left the tablet and the memory card, though. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Get off your high memory card, Turing. Whatever. The tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Tomcat is a software dude. Okay. It's a server software. Okay, ring any digital bells? Not really. Unless you're telling me someone, there's literally I someone called Tomcat in this game. Who we ask? Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. Stardust. I'll mark it on your city map. I have a city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Snatch. Oh, uh, my city map. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. Oh, you are the city map. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Really useful, man. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise. Alright, I believe you. For now. <laughs> Don't you know literally everything about me already? <sighs> Why are you sighing, buddy? This is just how things are done. <laughs> okay. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clocks quadrillion. to pass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. Mm, time to get a new OS. So, here we go! Welcome oh to my the first god. User setup for your new relationship I'm glad you got a new face. Manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. Oh, I love this. This is so... I don't even know. I need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. I want a ROM. This is awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? They're actually asking for my name? <laughs> I'm gonna enter my name. Okay, I am going to go with... Where's, where's, the, where's the P? Oh, here it is. Why did it why did it say this lie? That's weird. Yeah, give me that name. Thank you. I have input your name. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Nice. It's getting the all the like your your profile. It's literally your profile. There why are there more options? Oh, okay. Custom, man. They even have custom ones. That is awesome. Okay, I am, I am this one. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, could you tell me which 
tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? You gotta get my diet too? Uh, la la la. Alcohol free. God damn it, turn. I think it's this one, right? Omnivores eat both vegetables and meat, right? I know my vocabulary. Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Maybe. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. That is like, it's like a legit setup. Does that sound right? Yes, it does. Thank you. See, that was relatively painless. Yeah, relatively. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. What is it? Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Well, I don't think there's much left to look at, so... Yeah, let's go back. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. Okay. It will be an efficient use of our time together. Thank you for escorting me here. You're welcome, buddy. Let's head back to your home. Chapter 1, Entering the Meat of the Game. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. My what? Talk about my plant? Have you been overwatering it? I don't even know if I've been watering it. You know what? I've been watering it with this ooze. <laughs> my what? This jade plant you have on the windowsill here. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. You sure know your plants. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe the stuff that comes out of your mouth sometimes. The plants, the plants named Wilty. I got it for a friend a couple of months ago. Mildew, ch ch ch, mildew. Time to give the landlord another call. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. Wow, you're quick and efficient. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, <laughs> I am not confident he has a history of following through. Well, this is a terrible, dumpy apartment. Suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Uh, okay, well, that is certainly inconvenient. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? Bribe? What do you suggest? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Stratagem. The plant's name Wilty, I got it from a friend a couple months ago. How thoughtful of them. Crushula Ovada. Crushula Ovada. Money tree, lucky tree, Ooh, money tree. This is an all around tree. It's a jack of all traits tree. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Well, I should think of this like the best plant ever. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. A very nice gift. Okay, so what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. Hmm, how much these tools cost? You just have to remember 
to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. <laughs> Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Ironic indeed. <laughs> well, forgive me for giving a damn. Hmm. I was not intending to insult you, but I should have chosen my words more carefully. No, I'm just being a dick. Though, if you really do intend to care for this plan, I suggest you let me do as I see fit. I mean only to help you. I guess, I mean, yeah. Sure, Turi, whatever you want. Excellent. The supply should be here soon. I ordered them a place close What the hell, you already bought them? on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. Belief? Is that meant to be spelled that way? I was there talking to the plant. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. In the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. Well, thanks a lot. You know, once we get the sink fixed. And, you know, the ooze gone. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. <laughs> Let's go meet them then. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Where is my oh map? This is home, and this is wait. Did it click on or something? No, hold up. This is home. Wait. Oh, here we go. So this is home, and this is Stardust Club, and then we go. Neon signs are telling the truth. Let's just assume they're telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside. Hey, partying and clubs are all day, you know. Bouncer, park car, reef. Yeah, so it is Christmas time. This almost looks meticulously handcrafted until you notice it's the exact same as the one on the front door. Can I, like, torch it? Don't take that down, it's the holidays. Park car. Why does it let me talk to a park car? You tell the car to stay parked. It doesn't recognize your voice, so it doesn't respond. Different means, same outcome. Still victory for you. It's like, is everything just sentient in this like game? Freaking plant. Oh, we can talk to plants. Either the plant doesn't hear you, or it's choosing to ignore your attempts to talk to it. Well, that's real rude. You take a look inside the club. It's busy enough to feel like the place to be, but not so busy that you can't move. Let's talk to the bouncer. Hug bouncer. Let's talk to him first, to be quite honest. They're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice authentic touch. Authentic touch. Let's talk to him first. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, is that all they say? Can I hug you dude? You try to hug the bouncer, but he pushes you back with a cold glare. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I was just trying to, you know, share the Christmas love. Hold up there. Got ID? Yes. Why do you need my D? I'm of age. All right. Looks good to me. Okay, that was simple. Oops. Let's go in. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? No, dude, I have not ever been here. Mm, I mean, this movie is okay. This is my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. What effect is it having? Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. <laughs> I am entranced, dude. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Should probably start with the dude that's right there, you know? Uh, let's check the bar. We should check the bar first. That's where all the people spill their guts. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. 
Well, all right, guys. I'm going to leave this here. So we went to Hayden's apartment. It seems like everything is suspiciously okay. So someone must have like tried to come in and like clean up the scene to hide any evidence. But then we found a schedule and it's leading us to some person called Tomcat. Okay, I don't know if it's actually a person, but as far as I know, Tomcat is like software. So maybe, I mean, maybe there is a person called Tomcat and they're using it as like kind of a code name of sorts. So we gotta go find this person. That bartender is looking at me in a really weird way. Right. So we're gonna find this Tomcat person in the next video. So I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Please let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.